Hey everyone, it's Sally. So I just got home. Um, I've been traveling. Let's see. So I'm making this video basically to kind of document um, my journey and experience with donating bone marrow. A lot of people, um, you know, had a lot to say, a lot of good stuff to say about it when I first started posting it on Facebook. And this all started about two months ago. I got a phone call from the DOD bone marrow department. I'm not sure the people who have this database. And they said I came up as a potential match for somebody and who's in need. And would I be willing to get tested further to see if I was a match? So, of course, like, I was willing. Um, I joined the database. I think they said it was when I was attached to the USS Theodore Roosevelt. I'm in the Navy, so it was something that happened on the Navy ship that I was attached to. Back in 2007, I joined the database, um, probably not really expecting anything to ever happen, like a lot of people. And so I got this phone call, and it was like instinct took over, of course, I want to help somebody. Um, and so I went in for my first round of testing after a whole bunch of questions, ton of questions, like 45 minutes of questions about my health history, where I traveled to, um, any kind of issues that I've ever had. So that turned out okay. And I went in, got some blood drawn and waited for about two months. They told me it would be, you know, Couple, several weeks, couple months. They didn't really know. They just had to do the tests and make sure things matched up. So I think really it was like a week ago, a week and a half ago, I got another phone call and they said that I was the best match based on whatever they look at in my genetic makeup, in my blood, um, and would I be willing to still continue on further with this process? And I agreed. So yesterday I was flown to Washington, D.C. Um, I went to the George Washington University Hospital in Georgetown and was tested further. Um, they, you know, paid for my flight up there, put me in the, the hotel on the campus, and I was escorted into the hospital in the morning. Um, everybody, the process was just so smooth and so easy. Um, so today, what did I have done? I had an EKG, and I had chest x-rays, and they took more blood samples, they took urine samples, and, you know, I'm okay, I'm healthy. <laughs> I was expecting to be told that information. I've never had, you know, God bless, um, any major health issues, and so I knew, like, and that's probably one of the big reasons for, you know, immediately, instinctly saying, yes, I would love to be able to help somebody. Um, I feel very fortunate to not have any problems with my health, other than minor knee <laughs> problems here and there. But this just confirmed all these tests, you know, that I, I'm healthy. They pull everything from your blood, and it's crazy, 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 and... So they're going to go ahead and evaluate that information, and I will, let's see, today is Friday. Tuesday, I go back for more blood testing, and then that's it. So considering everything there goes well, um, three weeks later, I will be at the hospital again, and I will be there for five days. They will give me a shot. Um, for the four days leading up to the procedure, and I'm gonna make follow-on videos, so I'll talk about all that later, but I just wanted to kind of record this. Um, they also issued me with a 30-minute video to explain the procedure, side effects of the uh, medication that I'll be given prior to the procedure, side effects of the actual procedure, and then another health questionnaire. So it's been a real smooth process um, so far, and I am nervous. I, I usually don't, deal really well with needles and blood. So this combines them both. <laughs> uh, I usually get faint, I pass out, I'm dizzy. I donated blood years ago and it was just pain. So I just like stay away from it. Um, so I'm a little nervous going into this knowing that that's going to be the procedure. Um, there are two ways they can um, harvest 
the white blood cells, they can go directly into the bone and remove it that way. And they can do what is called a peripheral stem cell removal or transplant something. I'm not a doctor, so I could be wrong with some of this terminology. Um, and they decide on that based on the need of the patients. And the only thing I know about the recipient is that it is an 18 year old male who lives overseas and has or had Hodgkin's lymphoma and is also dealing with some other blood um, cancer issues. So I think the thing that just like keeps me going, it's kind of like autopilot, like no matter how nervous I am about the fact that I'm going to have a vein in one arm, it's going to be hooked up to a machine, which is a centrifuge, and it's going to, whatever, take out the white blood cells, which is what the patient needs, and then into the other arm, the rest of my blood will come back into me. So I've never really left without the blood. It's just the white blood cells. Um, that really grosses me out. I'll be honest, it really kind of freaks me out. But knowing that this is helping save someone's life um, that has the potential to save somebody's life, like a person, an individual this is going to, it's really awesome um, to be able to have that kind of an impact. So I know that no matter how painful it is, no matter how mentally, you know, messed up I become thinking and just like about the process and what's happening in my body. Um, I know that that's nothing in comparison to what this young man is going through. And it just feels so amazing to know I can have that kind of impact in my, you know, line of work. I help people get healthy. I help people lose weight. I help people transform their lives. And to know that I can do this on a different level um, with, you know, a greater magnitude, it's pretty freaking awesome. So I probably won't post this yet. I'll probably compile a video of all my stuff and put it out there, but I wanted to document my own little journey with this. So it's Friday, May 1st, and today I'm feeling excited. On uh, the 27th, I go back.